Hi there, and thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, we're going to be doing a requested build from Gymnos, requesting uh, after having done the Strofa and the Redeemer. Uh, they would like a Vastaluck build. <clears throat> this was a uh, Tenokan, Tenokan item when it first came out. Um, so you're basically looking for it from Barrow. So... May RNG forever be in your favor. Um, there's two main purposes for this, and uh, I'll discuss the Eidolon one. Uh, you use it for armor strip. On Eidolons, it is the fastest strip in the game. Uh, when it comes to them, uh, shattering impact, attack speed mods, pretty basic. Um, and you just full strip the Eidolon all the way down to zero if you're modding for that, right? couple of pellets come out of it got a nice little combo there uh, you can also do the high noon sta uh, stance which is similar I'm not as practiced with that one. It is very sip, zippy and is very easy to strip. Um, so something like this. Really easy to full strip an enemy really, really quick. Because um, each time a projectile hits something uh, and it has impact on it. So what we're going to be looking at is we're going to go over to the little info panel. Scroll all the way to the bottom. We have nine projectiles. We see that each projectile has IPS on it, impact puncture slash. The weighting does not matter. All that matters is that impact exists. Uh, so this could even be like 0.1 impact and it would count. Uh, with this, each of the projectiles, so there's nine, um, each of the projectiles will strip six enemy armor um, for a total of what, 54? So each time you shoot, it's stripping 54 base armor, uh, which is enough to strip armor very, very fast on most enemies, uh, including Eidolons. It's literally going to be like two, three shots, and it's gone. Um, so this would be like the first quote-unquote build if you're doing Eidolon runs. This is the meta stripper for him. Uh, okay, let's build a Vastalok. Uh, personally, I use Bullet Dance um, just because... It feels really nice, and I like the uh, block movement combos. Um, we're going to start out with base, a base build, like always. Base damage, crit damage, crit chance, attack speed, um, status, chance. Now with this, I'm going to quit modding with this because like, if you got a Vastalock, you've been playing for a bit. Uh, if you got this and you were like MR1, MR2, go ahead and slot this. Um, then we're going to wait slash something like that. And then we basically have two free slots. If you have faction damage... Go ahead and slot it. Uh, and one of the things you can do if you have it is either run double crit damage because it is a slash build. Or uh, if you don't have this, like say you have fury, uh, you can do quickening. This would be acceptable also. It's not going to do as much damage. Um, and to be honest, you'll probably be using High Noon because uh, this is something you'll get significantly earlier in the game. Bullet Dance is way later. Uh, you can transmute it, or I'm pretty sure it's from Oroken Caches, Rotation C. So let's see how we do with this. Black in our melee. Alright, slashes, 
We're getting the nice boost from the Panzer Virals, so we're hitting in the low thousands. Nice little 19k. It's a headshot, 10k. 6k, a 500. And with a headshot, 10k slash, 17k slash. Okay, it's dying. All right, so how do we do better? Let's go back and remod. We'll use some of the uh, combo counter mods, the Acolyte mods. Base damage, of course, goes to Condition Overload. Crit Chance uh, goes from True Steel to Blood Rush. Organ Statter stays the, sh the same. Uh, Quickening can still be left on. Uh, Berserker Fury, go or Fury goes to Berserker Fury. Uh, Melee Prowess goes to Weeping Wounds. Uh, smite Grenier goes to Prime Smite. And then the final one is kind of personal preference. Uh, Buzzkill would technically be better for even higher weighting, uh, but you might not have that or Jagged Edge. Um, so use the best one that you got. If you have Jagged Edge, don't even bother using it. Use Carnus Mandible because it's literally extra status chance. Uh, though, so your choice is basically between Carnus Mandible and Buzzkill. So it's up to you. I like Carnus Mandible in this instance for the slash build. We'll be showcasing its damage here in a bit. Um, you can see that the status chance for projectile, because it shows it like a uh, like a shotgun breakdown, because you have nine multi shot of each of the individual projectile has its own status chance. So, a little bit better crit damage. We'll be getting into uh, some yellows. But with way better status chance, we should be getting multiple procs per auto now. Alright, let's try it on this guy. Alright, 4k and 25k, 21k. Uh, 6,000, 2,000, a little all over the place, 3,000, 7,000, 11K, 34K, 3K, 33K. Ten K sixteen K seventy six on the headshot. Let's do a heavy. Uh three hundred and sixty K three hundred and sixty K I do like the forward uh the forward auto. A nice little combo or the forward block combo um so if you're doing like a grenier build this is kind of the way to go for slash um but what if you don't want slash which is the important things right um you can actually self prime pretty easily with this weapon uh it would be okay to do viral just make sure your waiting is taken care of so you don't have prime smite grenier uh or berserker fury So you could do viral and slash is still weighted the highest. Let's make sure it's the same way on the projectile. Okay. So it's 82 weighting of viral, 94 slash with the uh the carnus giving a slash and 260 60 viral mods. Way more status chance. Let's see how that does. Yeah, slash damage is about what it was before. A little bit lower because we're losing out on the uh, the bonus. 
from the faction mod. Heavy attacks now one shot. Seven hundred K on a pellet. Good enough for level cap memes. Um, make sure you got the, the combo wound up though. Um, highly recommend if you're trying to do something like longer, uh, maybe do like an arcane strike and take quickening off altogether. Uh, use it for um, like a faction mod. If you want to self prime, um, another thing you can also do is you can swap over to corrosive. Nothing wrong with that. Um, you could also weaken weaken this substantially and gain a slot. So let's see how low we got to go on this. All right, so you could do corrosive and then get our faction mod back. So we're still stripping. We're going to lower our slash damage a bit because we're going to be proccing it so much less compared to when we were pure slash, right? Um, or like heavily weighted slash, but we still had like impact and puncture. So we'll gain the benefit of potentially more condition overload procs as we RNG everything so we can get up to uh, four procs now um, where we're still weighted slash. So that's still going to be the predominant. Um, but we do take a hit percentage wise. Uh, actually, I do want this a little bit lower. Let me at least get 50%. That should be fine. Yeah, it's a little over 50% for slash weighting. Um, so we're still getting the, the uh, enemies breaking apart. Not that the corrosive weighting, I just fixed did that, but we'll also be getting predominantly slash weighting. So this would also work um, if you're doing Grenier. Let's take a look at that damage. So now we have Corrosive and Viral from the Panzer. Yeah, 26k, 43k. The, uh, the additional element and the boost to the raw damage is pretty nice. Nine K, 10 K. Let's try a headshot 50 K. All right, heavy, uh, two ten on two pellets. Um, so. I guess multiply that by what four and a half so a little over a million um so really good damage on the weapon it scales incredibly well um i am such a fan of the quick attack build on this but to be honest it would totally be justified doing a heavy attack provided you can keep the status up um, let's look at bullet dance, the stance itself. I don't think there's any forced procs on the heavy. All right, projectile, slam, ragdoll. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting any freebie, um, slashes. Though there are a bunch of slashes and free forced procs. Like you got slash, ragdoll, slash, ragdoll. But this is on um, the melee. The yellow is the actual bonuses. So it's 125, 125, 150, 200. Um, this weapon innately is going to do more damage than the strofa. Because it's not bugged, okay? 
Uh, one of the things that was brought up, oh, let me find it. The snapping turtle brought it up. If you saw what we were talking about, was with the CO on the Strofa, it's not working properly, which makes the Vastalock by default because it's not bugged. Uh, the best gun blade in the game right now because it's not bugged. Um, and it's the most meta one. So if you're looking for like a really solid build, you could legitimately go with a heavy attack build. But the regular, the regular base slash build is so potent on this. Um, it is pretty hard to justify for normal content. And just to go over what the, the upgraded slash build would be. And then... So your final slash build, if you were if you were to do a slash build, would look something like this. Condition Overload, Organs Shatter, Blood Rush, Berserker Fury, Prime Smite Grenier, Weeping Wounds, Gladiator Might, Gladiator Vice. It is the bread and butter pure slash build. It's it's not any different than anything else. But the difference is is that this uh this weapon isn't you know, geeked. And the projectiles are actually working properly. So you can get super spicy headshot or super spicy slash procs out of this. Yeah, 2,000. 3,800. 3k on an auto, but that was actually the uh, weapon hitting, not the projectiles. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Pretty spicy damage. I used this for a long time. Um, I even rolled an attack speed corrosive ribbon for it and just blasted everything with it. Um, and took advantage of the Panzer running um, running uh, viral. Um, and this thing did steel path, no, no problem whatsoever. So the, the CO works normally on this like intended. Um, so this is a very, very, very strong gun blade. So if you're using it, Gymnotropic, Gymnos, um, yeah, make sure to try this build out. The The only thing I would recommend is swapping out the uh, faction mod. Uh, with this, I would do like my Riven. And then I would try to wait the Slash. Yeah, something like this and just RNG the other procs. So slightly more Slash. Obviously you want a little bit more, but I'm having issues with the Riven because the waiting. Um, and the dispo keeps going up. God bless. Um, so nice and easy. Double attack speed. Attack speed on the ribbon. Yep, 5k to 6k, heavy attack will essentially do about a million damage. It's a super spicy, it's a super spicy build. So, do with it what you will. Um, I've sort of fallen out of love with the, the category of weapons, the gun blades, but the Vastalock, gotta be honest, is probably the strongest one. Um, there's definitely some reasons to still use the Strofa, uh, but the Redeemer, unless you're doing like an Eidolon hunt um, and you're actually trying to like kneecap it, um, just feels like the, the Redeemer just feels like it, it doesn't work as well anymore. Um, and the Strofa does hella damage. 
um, for like one single shot. But if you're using quick attacks, condition overload is fine. But like what Snapping Turtle mentioned, uh, there's no stance bonuses. And um, the heavy attack doesn't like condition overload. So there's no stance bonuses on the quick attack. And condition overload doesn't work on the heavy attack. And the stance bonus doesn't work on the heavy attack. So kind of why use the heavy attack unless you're going to run prime pressure point. But the Vastalox work in AOK. -okay. So it's pretty spicy. Give it a try if you guys haven't. But those are the couple of builds. Modify it as you see fit. Um, if you want to run something for Corpus, just Corpus Faction. And do, um, you know, the same old, same old monster toxin. So that gets heavy, heavy prio over everything else. And just forget about Slash. Um, but if you want to do uh, Corrupted, let me show you that one. A little bit more sane. Uh, you want slash slightly more weighted. Toxin um, is slightly below it. It's a little hard to balance. But you could do like a rank 4 fever strike. Or do a 60-60 and just call it a day. And this would be good for like, uh, like regular uh, steel path. Um, or even doing like... Lua missions or whatever, right? When those are relevant. But it is what it is. I hope you guys like the builds. Um, Gymnos, I hope you enjoy the weapon. I remember you have been using it for a while. If it makes you love the weapon again, by all means. It's, a, it's an excellent little weapon. So I hope this helped, guys. Have a blessed day. Stay excellent.